Hi all and welcome to today's edition of Tuesday Morning News. We will cover the annual parent meeting that is required by the state. But first, I want to thank everyone for getting their yellow and blue envelopes to our office, for using the help desk link, watching the videos for support, and being willing to try the new Skype sessions this year. If you have not already done so, you're going to want to plug your laptop up to the wall using a gray Ethernet cord overnight so your computer will download all the updates from the summer. Ask your media specialist if you need help. Also, I added a vote tab to this email. There may be an opportunity to come to our office here at Rose Garden on Tuesday, September the 22nd from 8 a.m. to noon to brainstorm ways to get our Engage One campaign off the ground. This is during fall break. If you would like to participate, the stipend is $75, so simply vote yes. If you are not interested in coming, that's definitely okay. I understand it's break. I am trying to see how many are interested and how many people may want to come. If we have enough interested people, we may be able to schedule a brainstorming day, and this will be the first day that our committees get an opportunity to meet. Secondly, we ordered about $850 worth of parent involvement resources for your resource rooms to check out for parents. You should have a stamp that says property of Title I. If not, use the help desk link and I will ask the state if we can purchase you one. We purchased these a couple of years ago and sometimes they do walk away. Each item will need to be labeled. Also, you are going to be receiving a scanner. This scanner is for parent use only, so I'm going to try to make a sign and stick it in the help desk, I mean the help desk folder, so that you can print this sign out and you can have a sign by your scanner. This is only for you and only for your parents. Other teachers, your academic coaches, your principals, administrators, no one else can use this. It's only for parents. So I will, it'll be a week or so, but I'll get um, a little flyer that says that. If anyone wants to make one and send it to me, feel free and I'll stick it in the help desk folder. Also, each um, parent resource room will be receiving three desktop computers over the next couple of weeks. Please, please read the instructions um, to tag each one of these items when you get them. As far as your old desktops, ask your media specialist how to label and surplus the items. It's very important that these items get to the warehouse and get surplus properly, and that's something that they do for all of our equipment. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, first things first, we are gonna start with the agenda for the annual Title I meeting. This agenda comes from the state. You cannot make any changes to it. Please put your school and put the date here that you're hosting the meeting. Any item that you have from us always has to have a two-day month, a two-day year, and a four digit um, date. If you don't have it like this, um, we will kind of get in trouble for it. So do us a huge favor and make sure you always have that. And here you're going to insert your meeting time. And when we say location, sometimes people have their meetings at um, maybe an apartment complex or in their school cafeteria. So wherever you physically actually meet in the classroom, media center, offsite, please put the location um, there. You don't have to have this on letterhead. As you can see, we have the Cobb County logo behind it. Several of you said that it was too bright. So I actually went back in today and changed it and made it um, a little less bright so that when it prints off, it's behind the words and not um, on the front. So thank you to everybody that said that for me on the help desk. Um, I need your input. Okay, so here is the agenda. The agenda is very long, but you have to go through each one of these things. So what is a Title I school? How does your Title I spend the money? For that question, we're getting the resource rooms. You have the three desktops, the scanner for accessibility. We're gonna talk a little bit more over the next few weeks about um, your parent activities plans. 
and we'll go into more detail about that. So you have teachers that are provided from Title I, um, lots of different things, so you're going to want to mention it there. We only have one targeted assistance school, so school-wide means all of your students are able to participate. The school designation status, you already sent out that letter, and that's why you sent out the letter in August and do the parent meeting afterwards, so everyone is school-wide. Um, make sure you put your school's name here. Talk about what your goals are for learning. Um, you, if you don't have a flexible learning program, take that out. Um, what other programs do you have that supports the school? Sometimes people have tutoring after school, before school, or during school. That's um, always a good piece to have. Um, sometimes people have smaller class sizes because of the Title I. You might have extra computers in your computer lab, things like that. So your principal actually leads this meeting, so you can go ahead and give this um, to them, and they'll be able to do that. So here is your meeting, okay? Now, let's move on to the two types of meetings you can have. Okay, so the annual Title I meeting, it comes from the state, and it says two hours. This is the suggested time. It really kind of depends on how many people that you have that come. All meetings should be a minimum of an hour. The first type of meeting is called a facilitated discussion. This is also in your help desk. And what you will need, a few round tables, some chart paper, markers, your, a PowerPoint or screen, uh, someone to keep time. I always have someone keep time and someone to keep the notes because someone will need to type the notes on the agenda that becomes your meeting notes that I will need to have. And five facilitators so they can be your staff members. And you print out copies of questions for the five different um, table topics a bell or alarm evaluation and refreshment and a lot of people say well where do the five different table topics come from those are the topics that are actually in the agenda so you can break that agenda down to different topics like your budget the school-wide plan the resources things like that and it says if you have 50 or more parents at your meeting you may want to split the topics up to more tables and you never want more than 10 parents in each group. So here we go. Take some time to read through this uh, to find out exactly what you would, how you wanna tweak this, but your principal again really does um, run this meeting because they have a vast knowledge of all of the pieces of Title I. So here are the discussion questions. The definition of Title I, what is Title I? Title I school funds, schools participation in Title I, Title I requirements, and your school designation. So this is how you'll actually have that discussion and it goes right along with um, your agenda that you have. And there is a lot of information and what happens is one group will sit there and talk about those questions and kind of brainstorm, do a chart activity. Many of you that have been um, with me at different activities, you can definitely do the balloon activity if you were there last year and um, saw the balloon activity where we had the open discussions. Um, or maybe I'll even uh, try to pick some different ideas. Okay, so table one, what is a school-wide plan? Table two, the curriculum assessments and your report cards. Table three, discuss the parent involvement policy and compact, so you'll want to have those available at that table. And table four, what are the qualifications and not the flexible learning programs because we don't have those, but a lot of us have tutoring programs, and that's pretty much what the flexible learning programs are. And then at table five, discuss the parent involvement funding and you're getting those resources. You can talk about the Engage One campaign. And after that, um, you keep, you repeat this so different people um, at the table either share out or you have the parents and people that show up move to each table. That way everybody can get an opportunity to see what the other people discussed and add notes to that chart paper and then you can have that chart paper for the next time. 
and it continues to go on and how you want to close. So that is the first type of meeting where you have the different cards, chart paper, round table discussions, and you go through the five topics. The second option you have for your annual Title I parent meeting is a traditional meeting. It's a little bit shorter in time, um, but parents don't have as much time to talk together. And I am a talker, so I like the round table discussion a little bit better, but you can have it any way that your principal would like for you to. And it takes about an hour and a half to go through all of those um, bullet points. What you'll need again, chart paper, markers, one group facilitator, which is generally your principal, a timekeeper. Up here it's not mentioned, but make sure you have someone who's taking notes again because they're simply going to type on the agenda what the happens during that meeting time. Um, and that would be the other key staff, your screen, projector, PowerPoint, and your evaluation, which I've also added um, on the help desk. And things that you can provide, you can always provide light refreshments. That's not pizza and spaghetti. That is um, cheese crackers, donuts, like little finger um, foods. I like to go to Sam's and get things in a box. So um, little peanut packages, um, Cheez-Its, graham crackers for kids, juice boxes, bottled water. Um, we don't really like to provide soda um, because that's part of the healthy food initiative, um, but something like that. All right, so here's your guide. It says follow the suggested agenda on it's the back of this page, but actually the agenda is separately. And allow town for a welcoming comments and questions as they come up and sharing of your contact information at the end. It is suggested to spend about 20 minutes on the agenda items one through six and about 10 minutes on the agenda item seven and about 10 minutes on the agenda items eight through nine and about 15 minutes on agenda item 9 and about 5 minutes on agenda item 10 through 11 and about 15 minutes on agenda items 12 through 13. So this is very simple. It's one person standing up. Everyone has the agenda and you follow this suggested timeline for each one of those. And things that you may want to have available are your school-wide plan, your compact and your policy go through the agenda and with your principal if she, if she or he wants you to and decide who's going to say what and that's generally how this meeting happens it's very simple very straightforward use the agenda and you're done okay so those are the two options for delivery of your annual parent involvement meeting um, don't forget to vote if you'd like to come and spend a half a day with me um, in a couple of weeks during the vacation. It's not mandatory whatsoever. Just wanted to kind of get a head count if people were interested um, in coming and helping us with the Engage One campaign. Um, if you, I went back in the help desk and faded out the backgrounds on all of the forms. There is a survey attached you're getting your parent resource room updates if you need me use the help desk and i hope you guys have a terrific tuesday